giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archived FIRST Robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Good evening, good evening, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our episode, episode, or week, week five, five episode, episode of Mountain South, 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 South Recap. Recap. This, this week, week we'll be recapping the events, events that took place in Texas, Texas, Texas and Tennessee, as well as looking well ahead to the Texas Tech Championship and the regional Missouri. Missouri. We'll also, we'll also review the South, South, South Top 10 voted, voted by you this year's. year's. Reporting, Reporting first updates now, 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 I'm Nick. I'm Colin. And I'm Jeff. To start, let's take a look at the only week five five in the South South that wasn't in Texas. Texas. Jeff, why don't you talk about the action in Tennessee? Thanks, Nick. Uh, first, 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 Dead. Dead. Quarterfinals, quarterfinals went just as expected. expected. The, number the number one, one number, number two, two, number three, three and number, and number four, four seed alliances all advanced to the semifinals, with only the number two versus number seven matchup going to three matches. However, the event took an interesting turn in the semifinals. On both sides of the bracket, the blue alliance would sweep the red alliance in just two matches. Alliance number four of 4265 Secret City Wild Pots, 2614 Mountaineer Area Robotics, and 2556 Radioactive Roaches pulled off the upset against the number one alliance and would face off against the number three alliance of 4020 Cyber Tribe, 2386 Trojans visiting from the Ontario District, and 3966 LNN Stem Punks, who pulled off their own upset against the number two alliance to secure their way into the finals. In Finals 1, both alliances elected to have two offensive bots and have one bot play defense against the opposing alliance. Unfortunately, the number 4 alliance had a lot of trouble evading the defensive efforts of 3966, and, and 2556 couldn't keep up with the number 3 alliance's fast rocket scoring, allowing the number 3 alliance to take the first finals match with a score of 74-44. to In Finals 2, both alliances were able to completely fill the cargo ship and begin work on the rockets. However, the number four alliance's strategy changed to have all three alliance members work on scoring rather than sending a defense bot, and their ability to climb to have three after not having done so in the first finals match allowed the number four alliance to take the second match with a score of 88 to 74. In finals three, yet another strategy shift occurred, with the number four alliance electing to have each member focus on one game element, thwarting the defensive capabilities of the number three alliance. Though the number four alliance was not able to completely fill the cargo ship in this match, due to dividing and conquering, the number four alliance was able to halfway fill both rockets, allowing the number four alliance to take home the victory with a final score of 90 to 83. Congratulations to 4265, 2614, and 2556 for the win. Congratulations to 7525 Pioneer Squared for their rookie all-star award. Another congratulations to 1706 Ratchet Rockers for their Engineering Inspiration Award. And finally, a huge congratulations to 932 The Circuit Chargers for their Regional Chairman's Award. So what happened back in the Lone Star State, Colin? Thanks, Jeff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be recapping the Pasadena District event featuring quite a few exciting teams. In qualification matches, it became very clear early on that 118 the Robonauts would seed first with a very high ranking average. With the 12-0 record, 118 had eight unicorn matches, resulting in a 3.66 ranking score. Battling it out for second and third place were teams 231 high voltage and last-minute attendees 54-14 paradox. Both finished with nearly identical stats and a 2.08 ranking score, utilizing very fast cargo cycles and climbs all weekend long. 118 selected 231 to be their first pick, and 54-14 selected 6800 Viperbots Valor for their first pick due to their exceptional cycling. 
In all the quarterfinals, the higher seed alliance moved on, except for the 4v5 matchup, where the fifth seed moved on. This wouldn't last long, as the higher seeds won once again in the semifinals for a 1v2 showdown. Finals matches were quite the spectacle, and I highly recommend watching them, as they were some of the most intense finals matches I've seen this far. It featured the scoring pairs of 118-231 against 54-14 and 6800, while defensive bots 76-91 Oakley and 73-12 T3 fought hard to slow those two duos down. In match one of finals, the second seed pulled off the upset with a score of 83 to 73, as 118 failed to climb at the because their stinger wouldn't deploy due to a broken gear. The climb points wouldn't have made the difference anyways, and Blue walked away with the win. In match two, the first seed won by a single point, 77 to 76, with 13 penalty points being called on the first seed when 118 crossed the center line in auto because of a missed routine. Three penalty points were, get, were called on the two seed when 6800 got flagged for pinning while they were trying to score on their own rocket uh, w- w- while 7691 was sitting in their way. Fi- finally, in finals match three, uh, the one seed walked away with a win with a score of 74 to 69. The score came down to the final seconds as 7312 tried to yeet onto the level two platform but missed by only a few inches, resulting in zero points for their usual six point climb. Overall, a fantastic finals, finals matches featuring loads of defense and last-minute scoring. Congratulations to 118-231, 76-91 for their huge win, and congratulations to 54-14, Paradox, for their silver cling bling for their finalist appearance and Engineering Inspiration Award. Lastly, congratulations to 2881 Lady Cans for the well-earned Chairman's Award. And with that, I'll pass it over to Nick. Thanks, Colin. And for our last recap tonight, let's discuss the last district competition in the Lone Star State this year. The Dallas District event held at, at, at the Emmett J. Conrad High School, home of 3005 the Robo Chargers. Defending world champions 148 the Robo Wranglers were the headliners in a field that otherwise lacked the star power draw that we've seen in other events. With this being the very last event in the state, teams heading into the last day of competition had a pretty good idea of what they would need to do in order to be in the field of 64 that would head to the state championship next week. Those hoping to do enough to qualify for state champs included 1296 Full Metal Jackets, 4192 Jaguar Robotics, and 7172 Keller Fusion Robotics. While on paper it looked like 148 would cruise to a decisive number one seed, that script was quickly turned on its head and four matches in saw them sitting with a record of one and three with only six ranking points. Meanwhile, 6672 Fusion Corps was a steady three RP machine all weekend long, achieving that score in nine out of their 12 qualification matches. When the dust settled, 148 and 6672 found themselves tied in the ranking points, but the cargo edge went to 148, making them the number one seed. However, they would turn right around and select 6672 Fusion Corpse as their first pick, and then round out their alliance with 3282 Dallas Robo Tigers. On the other side of the bracket, the number seven alliance of 5052 the Robo Lobos, 4192 Jaguar Robotics, and 6655 Texan Robotics produced back-to-back upsets over the number two and number three seeds in some very hard-fought matches to earn their spot in the finals against the number one seed. Unfortunately, the number one seed was far too powerful, and the finals matches were easily won by the one by the Red Alliance with the 30-point-plus win margins. Congratulations, Team 148, 6672, and 3282 on their district win. While the end result saw 148 as the number one seed and eventual Blue Banner winner, the road was especially challenging and saw the the defending champs performing below expectations, as well as what appeared to be electrical robot issues that we aren't used to seeing from the House of Black. However, we can all be certain that they will be at full power in a few days as district championships go underway. Congratulations are in order for 4206 Robo Vikes for the Chairman's Award and 1296 Full Metal Jackets for picking up the engineering inspiration. Colin, why don't you uh, take us into week six competitions with Central Missouri? All right, thank you. This weekend, 36 teams will compete in the Central Missouri Regional in Sedalia, Missouri. 30 of these teams have already competed in regionals this season, and top robots to look out for are Team 1756 Argos, who won the Central Illinois Regional, 2451 Ponage, hosts 5422 Team Scream, finalists at the Heartland Regional, and Team 5006 Team Apophis, from, who had a strong showing at Arkansas Rock City Regional. Another team that I'm excited to see is Team 6886, the synthesizers, who I hear are coming with a new and more robust manipulator and will hopefully show off their teased triple climb ability. Uh, 
that's it for that event. And now we're going to move on to our discussion topic and the preview of the Texas State Champs. Uh, so we're going to take a we're going to make this a roundtable discussion where we're going to talk about some of our favorites to win, some some people who we think are definitely going to advance, and some dark horses. Jeff, why don't you go ahead and get us started? Jeff, you're muted. Um, and it was finally I finally was muted. All right. <laughs> Uh, had to happen eventually. All right, so before I start, um, if any of you are watching and you want to comment, um, just chime in at any point. Um, but the first topic I wanted to discuss for the state champs was um, the depth of the field. So previously, uh, especially last year at the state champs, it was really the captain and the first pick of all the semifinalist alliances that were the favorites to win. However, this year, uh, between the 10 district events, we've seen a lot of teams that haven't really made an appearance at the last couple of state champs or just haven't performed at their top ability, uh, such as 5431 Titan Robotics, 231, uh, 5414 is all of a sudden doing a lot better this year. Um, but I'm just really excited because the depth of the field is going to make the state championships really exciting to watch. For me, um, I'm really excited to see which uh, ship alliance ends up happening. Um, cause you know, 118 and 148 space Cowboys, everybody knows it. Um, you know, the prank war, all that stuff. Um, there's also space Hawks with 118 and 3310. Um, they want, they were in the, they were together in Newton last year and they won state champs in the off season. And there's also bird herder robotics, um, with 3310 and 148. Um, so I personally think that one of those three setups will win the event. Um, but I'll be very interested to see which one it actually is. Yeah, certainly. Well, a lot of eyes are on the uh, IFI teams at this event. I want to shout out some of the other really strong Texas teams. Uh, 3847, Spectrum, 2468, Team Appreciate, 624, Kryptonite. Um, I think they're really strong robots. They don't get as much attention as some of the big names in Texas. And going off of what Jeff said earlier, I think the depth of the field will really play a big impact at this event where uh, Alliance will have to decide if their third robot is going to be, you know, a, a really great scoring robot where they can go three offense or if they're going to if they're going to go for defensive robots such as uh, 1817 who have been sh who have really shown that they can shut down some really great teams. I kind of want to follow up on what you said about the more dark horses um, with 2468. They're actually rank 1 in the state right now. Um, they have six mm -hmm. more district points than 118. I believe it's 152 to 146 in regards to points. Mm -hmm. um, so 2468 definitely isn't a slouch going into this event. Um, I expect that they'll get to finals and all, that they'll also pull out a chairman's award win. Now, speaking of chairmans, um, Texas District Championship can award three chairman's winners. Um, there were 10 district events in Texas, um, so those teams in contention are uh, 2468, 5431, 1477, 4063, 2881, 3735, 3481, 5417, 5427, and the Dallas winners 4206. Um, at least in my opinion, I'd give 2468 and 1477 the definitive nods um, picking up mm -hmm. a chairman's award. Um, but for the third one, I think it could be something between Trickster for Kids 4063 and 2881. Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, I definitely agree. 2468, 1477. I'd, I'd say they're, they're probably going to be the favorites to win. And then third spot is really just a toss up. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you all there. 2468 and 1477 just have such strong outreach programs. I think if. Uh, if one of them doesn't walk away with a chairman's award, I'd be incredibly surprised. But really, I, I do agree. It's a toss-up between 4063 and 2081 because they're they're right up there. Their outreach is about the same in terms of um, like sustainability and who they're reaching out to and how much they're helping their communities. But either way, like all 10 of these teams are definitely deserving, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to see them get the recognition that they deserve. <laughs> yeah. I'm all, I'm really happy um, with the move to districts allowed more teams to get involved in winning the chairman's award because um, I mean you go to the events it's like oh appreciates here they're definitely going to win it um, but with the district system it's given a lot more teams the opportunity such as 5431 who pick up their first chairman's win this year I believe 4206 also picked up their first chairman's award win um, so I'm really 
really happy to see that. And that's one of my favorite parts of going to the district system compared to regionals. All right, um, with that, we're gonna head into our uh, FR, our top 10 list uh, for this week in the South. Um, so in the number one rank uh, is team 148, the Robo Wranglers. Uh, number two, it's 118, the Robonauts. Number three, it's 5414, Paradox. Number four, 231, High Voltage. Number five, 6800, Viperbots Valor. Number six, 6676, uh, Fusion Corpse. Number seven, 4020, Cyber Tribe. Number eight, 4265, the Secret City Wild Bots. Number nine is 1296, the Full Metal Jackets. And number 10 is 4295, Hudson Robotics. Um, so what do you guys think of that list? Uh, any disagreements, uh, things that you strongly agree with, et cetera? Um, I personally think that 4265 should have been a lot higher. Uh, pulling off that upset from the number four captain spot was definitely very impressive. And I think they deserve a little bit more recognition for that. Um, but I mean, it's kind of based, I mean, the viewers are the ones that decide where the rankings are. So if you want to see a team get hired, then you have to vote. Yeah, certainly. I, I think it was interesting that there's only, uh, two non-Texas teams on top 10. I mean, I, I'm sure there's a lot more people in Texas who vote. So, um, I, I also, uh, really happy to see 5414 Paradox, uh, rank number three. They were really solid at, um, the Pasadena event and I'm, and also, uh, 6800 Viperbots Val, I really like their robot this year. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, it was really cool to see 5414 um, play as strong as they did at Pasadena, um, considering that they were the last minute. Um, they were very last minute sign up, and they showed up to play. Um, All, right. All right, well, uh, now we'll discuss which teams from that list we think could make the FRC Top 25 this week. Uh, so, Nick, why don't you go ahead and start us off? Yeah, so, I mean, we were just talking about 5414. Um, I think that they're a pretty surefire into the top 25. Um, their climb is really interesting. They swing their entire arm around and then um, fold themselves back up. Uh, I think that's really cool. Um, their intake's really good. They're scoring really fast cycles low. Um, and they also took 118 to three um, at Pasadena, which is a feat that not many teams can say that they've done that they've been able to do. Uh, Colin, who's your pick? Yeah, well, uh, too obvious. 148, 118. So I won't. I won't even go into that. But uh, definitely 6800 Viperbots Val. And they've just been been getting better and better each week as they get more and more driver practice. So I'm I'm looking forward to see what they can do at the district championships this weekend. Yeah, and I, I'm going to actually talk about 6672 Fusion Core a bit, and I'm going to go into a bit of their history. So this is their third year competing with FRC. And in their first year, they were the number one seed at Dallas as a rookie, which is very impressive, and especially in the regional system. Um, in their second year, they were finalists at Hub City. And um, off the top of my head, I unfortunately cannot remember if they were a captain or a first pick. But either way, that's impressive for a second-year team. And as a third-year team, they won the Dallas District event with 148. Um, but overall, they have just under 15-second cargo cycles, which isn't the fastest. But they're a solid three ranking point bot. And that level three hab climb is uh, the equivalent of scoring four cargo. So that kind of offsets that slightly higher cycle time. Yeah. Um, really, really solid list this week. Um, they're definitely going to be a lot of these teams um, in the top 25, I guarantee it. Um, but with that, we're going to close out the show. Um, so thank you for everyone who has watched. If you want more FIRST Robotics in your life and like what we do, all that we ask is that you let others know that this is the show and the place to go for more FRC in their lives. If you have a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. But if not, we totally understand, and we're delighted to have you on board. On behalf of myself, Colin, Jeff, and our producer, Nick, I'd like to thank you for tuning in, and thank you for all our moderators and chat. Our next show is We the North. Talk to you next week on the Mouth of the South Recap. See you, everyone. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.